Hi guys, charity shop gold or garbage out at Yate today. Just the one item, and this just interested me. It's a Tonka made in Japan, number 172. It's a friction powered car or flywheel, but it's got a little twist to it that makes it just that little bit more interesting. So you build it up by spinning it forward and you can probably hear the flywheel going inside but the wheels aren't turning. That's what this button's for. So the flywheel spins up but it doesn't connect to the back axle until you put it in gear. So I thought we'd have a look inside. It's only got one screw from the look of it. Ooh. What sort of screw is that? Uh -huh. I've got to have a look. Well, it's a little star-shaped screw. So I'll have to get my adapter bits. Right, well none of my star adapters will actually fit into the hole, they're not long enough. But this hexagonal key does fit into the middle of the star and it gives me enough to be able to undo it. So, there we are, we can get inside holding it at the back. There we go. Oh, a bit dusty in there. Well, where does that go? That well, just pushes on there. I've put a spotlight on so we can try and see a bit more detail. We've got this nice plastic cover to keep the dust out of the works. And we've got the flywheel here. It's all held in place by a rivet there so I can't take it apart any further unless I want to drill that rivet out. And I don't really want to do that because this is working fine as it is. What we might be able to do is see a bit more detail though. Down this side, I'll point with a screwdriver, there's a shaft. You can just see the end of that shaft there. That one is in a slot that moves up and down. And that's the one that engages and disengages the back axle. So as we turn the wheels, They spin up the flywheel and at the same time they push that shaft down out the way. So it's currently down out the way. If I push this lever on top, you see that shaft jumped up and that engaged the back axle. So There'll be a gear on the back axle. There'll be a gear on that shaft. And then there'll be other gears on the flywheel shaft. When we turn the wheels, they actually push that shaft out of the way so it actually disengages. I push turn it, there we go, we should see it move out of the way. There you are, it's out of the way. So now turning the wheels and the axle are directly driving the flywheel. But when we stop turning, stop turning the wheels, the flywheel isn't driving the back axle. 
until we press that lever that allows that other shaft to jump back in position and engage the back axle. What I will do now is I'll try and clear this hair and that that's in there just to tidy it up and then we'll put it all back together. Well in the big scheme of things that wasn't much hair. I've greased it up a little bit on the shafts. Actually sounds a bit quieter now. Clean that cover up a bit so that can go back in place and see if we can get it back together. It's only got a few pieces. It sits up in there. It goes on there. That screw goes in there. Cool, that's quite quiet now, isn't it? Once I'd wound that up really well, we just get wheel spin on my normal floor. So I had to put it on this non-slip mat just so we can actually get it to go straight. I'm quite impressed with that. Another fun little toy.